What's good YouTube, Near Nexus here. I'm bringing you a video talking about the crush card virus. For those of you who don't know, it's becoming limited as of April 1st, and I'm here to brush you up and bring you up to speed on what this card does now that it's been errated and how I think it might affect the game. So, it was reprinted in Premium Gold 2. If you live in America, it's called Premium Gold 2 Return of the Bling. Thank goodness it wasn't called that over here in UK. Um, its effect is, now that it's been errated, you tribute one dark monster with 1000 or less attack. Your opponent takes no damage until the end of the next turn. So, for the remainder of this turn, and for the remainder of next turn, they can't take damage. So that immediately turns off its OTK potential. Also, you look at your opponent's hand and all monsters they control. And if you do, destroy the monsters among them with 1500 or more attack. Then, your opponent can, optional effect, destroy up to 3 monsters with 1500 or more attack in their deck. So even if they don't have 3 monsters in their deck, with 1500 or more attack that they wish to destroy they can still do any number from one to three the crush card virus uh, can be used with such monsters like elemental hero shadow mist and summoner monk now elemental hero shadow mist i believe will still gain its effect if tributed via the crush card virus um, and crush card virus is a nice way to remove that dead summon monk on the field if you've mass changed into your dark claw. Using shadow mist's effect to obviously gain you your mass change from the deck when it's special summoned off of the summoner monk and then obviously you will more than likely mass change into dark claw during your opponent's turn so you can get the search effect off a of shadow mist. Crush card virus is a very interesting card it's been around for a long time in the game um, both fading in and out of formats I don't believe it's been in the format for a good number of years now, for good reason. Its previous text used to read, It would destroy all monsters on the field and in the opponent's hand with 1500 or more attack. And then for the next three turns, each time they draw, you get to check that card. And then, if that monster had 1500 or more attack points, you would then destroy that monster. Whereas now, obviously, they take no damage, which stops the OT any OTKs and they can send three monsters with 1500 or more attack from their deck directly to the graveyard. Now given what we know about the crush card virus, what it does and some of the main top tier widely used targets for the card shall we say, do we think that this card is going to be used in the meta? Do we think it's going to have an effect on the April 2015 format? Now given that crush card virus can only be used in two decks off the top of my head that I can think of, Heroes and Burning Abyss. I would say it's going to be more of a tech card rather than a full-blown instant in the deck staple. I know some people are going to deliberate saying, oh, you can't OTK with it, you can't use it to push for game or anything like that. But it's still like a technical Raigeki for the field, like having another Raigeki in the deck, if you follow what I mean. Because it destroys all monsters with 1500 more attack on the field and in their hand. Yes, they can send monsters from their deck to the graveyard with 1500 attack or more, but it all depends on your matchup, I suppose. Because I don't think you'll want to use it against Burning Abyss because they can send certain monsters from their deck to the graveyard and activate their effects during the end phase. And I don't think you'll want to use it against um, Necros because obviously they require a fair amount of grave set up themselves. So maybe this card is better suited for the side deck? I'm not quite sure. What do you guys think? Crush card is certainly one of those interesting cards to come off the list. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to be immediately in every dark deck that can run it. I mean, people should consider the idea, but then you should also consider the meta and the matchups. There's a considerable portion of the meta that requires graveyard setup. And by playing this card, you can trigger a key part of their strategy, if you like. 
um, because the whole sending three monsters from the deck to the graveyard with 1500 or more could actually be quite detrimental to them possibly winning the game because although they take no damage for essentially two turns you can still take damage so by allowing them to set up their grave with three monsters you could inadvertently be setting yourself up for a fall because some decks rely on getting certain monsters to the graveyard in order to perform certain actions and if you allow your opponent to set up in a phase where they know that they can't take any damage but you still can, although you've gotten rid of all their monsters in their hand and on the field for that time being, they could have other combo pieces in hand, e.g. searchable cards like Rotor and things like that, to get to other cards that they need in order to make advantage off of what they just put in the grave off of your crush card virus. So I guess all in all, the card could be described as a bit of a double-edged sword depending on the matchup. But I guess that's why Konami has brought the card back with the errata it has because yes it is quite balanced in what it does now the effect the fact that the opponent can no longer take damage for essentially two turns you trade that off with the ability to destroy all their monsters with 1500 or more on the field and in the hand i suppose konami sees that as a fair playoff but the problem is this game is not built on fair cards the game is built very much on unfair cards i don't think that this card is going to see a lot of main deck play i think people are going to be siding it at best it's a real shame because it's a real classic card and personally i'm kind of against these old cards getting errated yes it's interesting to see what they do but i suppose i'd have preferred it if they just printed another card that was similar to the original card that got banned with these effects on it because then maybe i don't know one day in the distant distant future when these cards aren't so broke anymore you know you could bring it back so you wouldn't have to deal with this uh, bs of a uh, fair effect if you like so my final thoughts and my closing statement on crush card virus is that it's a fair card anyone who says it's not a fair card needs to reread the card effect um i believe it's a good side tech possibly main board tech um but it's more than likely going to be sideboarded i think at the moment the card is exceptionally hyped because it's just come off the ban list but i think that hype will die down and people will see that this card is pretty evenly balanced it doesn't gain you that much advantage either way unless i don't know you're using it really really late game and you know that they haven't got anything better to get to or to use by using your crush card to deplete the hand of field of all the 1500 or more attack point monsters and you can sort of calculate that they've got nothing that you can't work around them sending from their deck to the graveyard so that's my final thoughts on the matter this is neon excess signing out peace